This is a CMA general knowledge practice test. This test consists of 50 questions designed to help you prepare for your general knowledge section of the medical assistant certification exam. Each question includes an explanation of the correct answer, so you can understand the reasoning behind it. Let's get started. 1. Which of the following patients cannot consent to their own care? A. A married 17-year-old needing cough syrup. B. An unmarried 18-year-old needing birth control pills. C. A 17-year-old Marine needing acne medicine. D. A 17-year-old with a 6-inch laceration of the leg. E. A confused 83-year-old with no guardian who wants a tummy tuck. Correct answer. D. A 17-year-old with a 6-inch laceration of the leg. Minors cannot make their own health care decisions unless it involves reproductive care, substance abuse, or psychiatric treatment. Exceptions are minors who are emancipated by marriage, self-supporting, or enlisted in the military. Elderly persons who have not been designated as incompetent or have no guardian may make their own medical choices despite confusion. 2. All of the following are parental routes of medication administration except a. 4. B. I. M. C. P. D. Sub-Q. E. Intradermal. Correct answer. C. P. O. P. O. From the Latin per OS, meaning by mouth, is not a parenteral root of medication administration. Parenteral refers to the introduction of a substance into the body via a root other than the alimentary canal, digestive tract. Intravenous, or 4, administration, A, is infusion into the vein, M, or intramuscular, B, is injection into the muscle, sub-Q, or subcutaneous, D, is injection under the skin, intradermal, E, is injection just under the epidermis, or outer layer of skin. 3. Which of the following words is misspelled? A. Menstruation. B. Glaucoma. C. Accommodation. D. Arrhythmia. E. Circumcision. Correct answer. E. Menstruation. Menstruation is the correct spelling. None of the other answer choices is misspelled. 4. Which item should a patient on a low sodium diet select for a snack? A. Jumbo dill pickle. B. Ham sandwich. C. Cornflakes and whole milk. D. Banana. E. Baked pretzel sticks. Correct answer. D. Banana. A banana is low in sodium. Pickled A. And smoked items like ham, B. Are high sodium foods. Processed foods like cheese, chips, pretzels, E. Packaged snacks, and breakfast cereals, C are also high in sodium. 5. Which of the following is the pacemaker for the heart? A. Bundle of his. B. A. V. Node. C. Bundle branch. D. S. E. Node. E. Purkinje fibers. Correct answer. D. S. A. Node. The S. A. Node is the pacemaker of the heart. The impulse travels to the A. V. Node, B where it slows. It separates at the bundle of his, A, and travels down the left or right bundle branches, C. The impulse travels to the Purkinje fibers, E, that are embedded in the walls of the atria, causing them to contract. 6. Which of the following is not a purpose of the medical record? A. Research tool. B. Communication tool for healthcare team. C. A verification record of physician skill level. D. Legal record. E. Personal record of health treatment. Correct answer. C. Verification record of physician skill level. The medical chart has four purposes. It is a research tool, a communication tool among health team members, legal record, and record of personal health. 7. The length of time in which a person can file a lawsuit is called A. Statute of Limitations B. Doctrine of Informed Consent C. Mandatory Reporting D. HAPA E. 
Cobra. Correct answer, statute of limitations. The length of time after an event in which a person can file a lawsuit is called statute of limitations. Doctrine of informed consent, B, means making certain the patient is aware of all details about any procedure, alternative choices, potential complications and side effects, consequences of refusing treatment, etc. Mandatory reporting, C, refers to the obligation of medical assistance to report child or elder abuse. HIPAA, D, refers to regulations for confidentiality in reporting health information. COBRA, E, refers to federal regulations regarding continuation of health insurance after leaving a job. 8. A patient has blood drawn for a pregnancy test, then leaves the medical office. Later that day, the laboratory delivers the result, and the medical assistant phones the patient to share it, positive pregnancy test. If the patient does not answer the phone, which of the following actions should the medical assistant take? A. Send a follow-up appointment card by mail. B. Leave the good news on voicemail. C. Leave a name and number on voicemail and ask the patient to call the office. D. Try to remember to phone the patient again later in the day. E. Send a message via patient portal to come back to the office. Correct answer. C. Leave a name and number on voicemail and ask the patient to call the office. Laboratory results are protected health information that should only be given directly to the patient. Leaving the information on voicemail could violate patient confidentiality. None of the other items is as effective as asking the patient to call the office back. 9. Which of the following words describes bone pain? A. Chondromalacia B. Osteochondritis C. Chondralgia D. Osteolysis. E. Osteodynia. Correct answer, E. Osteodynia. Either dynia or algia is the suffix meaning pain. That means the correct choice is either C or E. Cron slash O means cartilage and ost slash O means bone. This makes the correct choice osteodynia, E. Chondromalacia, A is softening of cartilage. Osteochondritis, B, is inflammation of bone and cartilage. Chondralgia, C, is pain in cartilage. Osteolysis, D, is destruction of bone. 10. Which of the following is not a good source of calcium? A. Milk. B. Sardines. C. Canned salmon. D. Cauliflower. E. Cheese. Correct answer, D. Cauliflower. Cauliflower is not a source of calcium. Milk, A. Sardines, B. Canned salmon, C. And cheese, E. Are rich in calcium. 11. The abbreviation that indicates a patient should take the medication before a meal is. A. NPO. B. Nose. C. PRN. D. P. C. E. A. C. Correct answer, E. A. C. A. C, from the Latin antisibum, means before a meal. The abbreviation P. C. D. Post sibum, indicates after meals. N. P. O. A. Nil per O. S. means nothing by mouth and is used when a patient should have nothing to eat or drink prior to a test, exam, or procedure. NOS B stands for not otherwise specified and is used to code encounters. PRN C pro renata means as needed. 12. Which of the following phrases describes the amount of evidence required to convict in a civil case? A. Evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. B. 100% of proof. C. A preponderance of evidence. D. Evidence beyond the shadow of a doubt. E. Only minimal evidence. Correct answer. C. A preponderance of evidence. In civil cases, a preponderance of evidence is sufficient to prove guilt. In criminal cases, there must be overwhelming evidence beyond a reasonable doubt. 13. 
Which mineral helps prevent dental cavities? A. Calcium. B. Potassium. C. Iron. D. Fluoride. E. Iodine. Correct answer, D. Fluoride. Fluoride is added to water and toothpaste to prevent dental decay, cavities. Calcium, F, builds bones and teeth. Potassium, B, keeps heart contraction regular. Iron, C, prevents anemia, and iodine, E, prevents goiters. 14. Which of the following blood types can give to all other blood types? A, type A. B, type B. C. Type O. D. Type AB. E. Type ABO. Correct answer. C. Type O. Type O can donate to all blood types and is called the universal donor. Type A. A. Can donate to type A or type AB. Type B. B. Can donate to type B or type AB. Type AB. D. Can donate to only AB blood type. ABO, E, refers to the overall blood typing group and is not an actual blood type. 15. A patient who is instructed to take 10 milliliters of a medication would be able to use which of the following household equivalents? A. Pint. B. Teaspoon. C. 2 teaspoons. D. 2 tablespoons. E. 60 drops. Correct answer. C. 2 teaspoons. The household equivalent of 10 milliliters is 2 teaspoons. 1 teaspoon equals approximately 5 milliliters. It is also equivalent to 60 drops, e, too little of the medication. A half teaspoon, b, equals approximately 2.5 milliliters, too little of the medication. There are 3 teaspoons or 15 milliliters in a tablespoon, so 2 tablespoons, d, equals 30 milliliters, too much of the medication. A half pint, A, equals 8 ounces, which is equivalent to 240 milliliters, too much of the medication. 16. When a physical exam has been performed and the physician documents Perla, what parts of the body is this term referring to? A. Eyes. B. Ears. C. Throat. D. Heart. E. Abdomen. Correct answer, eyes. The abbreviation PERLA refers to eyes and stands for pupils equal, round, and reactive to light and accommodation. It indicates that the pupils are normal, it has no bearing on physical exam results for the ears, B, throat, C, heart, D, or abdomen, E. The eye examination may involve using a penlight or flashlight to observe the dilation and constriction of the pupil. 17. Which of the following words is not a correctly spelled medical term? A. Scrotum. B. Prostrate. C. Testicle. D. Foreskin. E. Circumcision. Correct answer. B. Prostrate. Prostrate is not a medical term. The correct term is prostate. 18. Which of the following is descriptive of arteries? A. Thick, elastic, return blood to heart. B. Thin, fragile, carry blood away from heart. C. Thin, elastic, return blood to heart. D. Thin, elastic, carry blood away from heart. E. Thick, elastic, carry blood away from heart. Correct answer, E. Thick, elastic, carry blood away from heart. Arteries are thick, elastic, and carry blood away from the heart. Veins are thin, fragile, and return blood to the heart. 19. Torticollis or rhinec is a spasm of which muscle? A. Gastocnemius. B. Sternocleidomastoid. C. Rectus abdominis. D. Deltoid. E. Sartorius. Correct answer. B. Sternocleidomastoid. The sternocleidomastoid muscle originates at the back of the head and inserts into the sternum. A severe spasm prevents moving or turning of the head. 
The gastrocnemius a, is a calf muscle that often spasms and give the patient a charley horse. The rectus abdominis c, is the six-pack muscle of the abdomen. The deltoid d, is the muscle of the upper arm that we use for injection. The sartorius e, involves the tailor muscle. Sitting on the floor, putting the soles of the feet together, and pressing down on the knee stretches the sartorius. 20. Laws that protect consumers from harassing phone calls for collection are part of the A. Fair Credit Reporting Act B. Equal Credit Opportunity Act C. Consumer Protection Act D. Fair Labor Standards Act E. Fair Debt Collection Act Correct answer, Fair Debt Collection Act the Fair Debt Collection Act is a regulation to protect debtors from collectors calling at work, leaving incriminating messages, or calling at inconvenient hours to harass the debtor. The Fair Credit Reporting Act A, allows persons to see their credit record and the information given to potential lenders. The Equal Credit Opportunity Act B, prohibits discrimination against extending credit based on race, sex, gender, religion, or marital status. The Consumer Protection Act of 1971 c, protects the patient's finances by regulating the lending of funds. Fair Labor Standards Act D, regulates the minimum wage and controls the number of hours worked. 21. Bones are joined to muscles by a. Ligaments b. Periosteum c. Cartilage d. Meninges e. Tendons Correct answer, E. Tendons. Tendons join muscle to bone. Ligaments, A. Join bone to bone. Parasodium, B. Is the protective covering on the outside of a long bone. Cartilage, C. Is a semi-hard, fibrous connective tissue. The meninges, D. Are a three-layer covering over the brain and spinal cord. 22. Multipara means. A. Near many. B. Many nearby. C. Many pregnancies. D. Many live births. E. Many pairs. Correct answer. D. Many live births. The suffix para means only live births. The prefix multi means many. 23. Which of the following does not describe Schedule 4 drugs? A. Physician must sign a triplicate prescription. B. Can be refilled five times over six months. C. Can be called into pharmacy over phone. D. Frequently abused. E. Must be stored in locking cabinet for administration. Correct answer. Physician must sign a triplicate prescription. Only Schedule II drugs must be ordered in writing on a triplicate form, signed by the physician, filled within a time limit, and no refills given. Schedule 4 drugs are frequently abused, D, but have a lower potential for abuse. Drugs like Xanax, Ativan, and Valium are in this category. They must be locked in a secure place, E, but they can be called in over the phone, C, and may be refilled up to five times in six months, B, if the doctor thinks this appropriate. 24. Which region is referred to when charting a notation about the area near the navel? A. Superpubic. B. Epigastric. C. Umbilical. D. Hypochondriac. E. Lumbar. Correct answer. C. Umbilical. The umbilical or gastric region surrounds the navel. The epigastric region, B, is above the navel. The suprapubic region, A, is below the navel and above the pubic bone. The hypochondriac regions, D, are in the area of the false ribs. The lumbar regions, E, are in the lower back. 25. Which term did Freud use to describe the area of the mind that determined a person's basic identity? A. Ego. B. Id. C. Superego. D. Unconscious mind. E. Subconscious mind. Correct answer, ego.
The ego is the part of the conscious mind that contains our thoughts and behaviors. 26. Which of the following words means without menstrual flow? A. Nalipra. B. Amenorrhea. C. Oligomenorrhea. D. Dysmenorrhea. E. Nulligravida. Correct answer. B. Amenorrhea. Menstrual flow is menorrhea. That means the correct choice is B, C, or D. The prefix for without is A or in dash. That makes amenorrhea, B, correct. Nulipara A would be translated as no live births. Oligomenorrhea, C, translates to scant menstrual flow. Dysmenorrhea, D, means painful menstruation. Nulligravida, E, means no pregnancies. 27. Which of the following food items would not be consumed by a lacto-vegetarian? A. Rice. B. Eggs. C. Beans. D. Milk. E. Corn. Correct answer, B. Eggs. Eggs are not eaten by a lacto-vegetarian. Lacto-vegetarians eat only plant-based items and dairy foods such as milk and cheese. 28. The act that protects patient rights including the right to agree to or refuse medical treatment is the a. Patient Self-Determination Act of 1990 b. Consumer Protection Act of 1971 c. Civil Rights Act of 1964 d. HIPAA Act E. Americans with Disabilities Act. Correct answer. Patient Self-Determination Act of 1990. The Patient Self-Determination Act allows patients to control their own lives and make informed decisions about what medical care they do or do not want. The Consumer Protection Act of 1971, B. Protects the patient's finances by regulating the lending of funds. The Civil Rights Act of 1964, C. Prohibits discrimination based on race, religion, color, sex, or national origin. The HIPAA Act of 1996, D. Protects individual health information. The Americans with Disabilities Act, E. Protects those with physical, mental, or emotional handicaps from discrimination. 29. The condition in which blood accumulates due to a tear in the meningeal layer is. A. Concussion. B. Subdural hematoma. C. Intracerebral hematoma. D. Epilepsy. E. Hydrocephalus. Correct answer. B. Subdural hematoma. A subdural hematoma is a bleed under the layers of tissue covering the brain. An intracerebral hematoma, C, is bleeding into the brain tissue itself. A concussion, A is a head injury in which the brain has temporary bruising and bleeding. Epilepsy, D, is irregular electrical activity of the brain that may result in seizure. Hydrocephalus, E, is an increase in fluid pressure because ventricles in the brain do not drain properly. 30. The abbreviation for potassium is A, P, B, F, A, C, K, D, O, E, P, M. Correct answer, C, K. K is the abbreviation for potassium. P, A, is phosphorus, F, A, B, is iron, O, D, is gold, and P, M, E, is promethium. 31. Which of the following is not an early warning symptom of cancer? A, sore that does not heal. B. Pain and weight loss. C. Unexplained bleeding. D. Chronic cough or hoarseness. E. Lump or mass. Correct answer. B. Pain and weight loss. Pain and weight loss are advanced symptoms of cancer. Early warning symptoms allow treatment and increase survival rates. The seven early warning symptoms are a sore that does not heal, A, a lump or mass, E, unexplained bleeding, C, a mole that has changed shape or color, chronic cough or hoarseness, D, 
change in bowel or bladder habits, and persistent indigestion. 32. Which of the following practitioners would treat patients for ADHD, PTSD, and bipolar disorder? A. Psychiatrist. B. Hematologist. C. Gynecologist. D. Rheumatologist. E. Pulmonologist. Correct answer, F. Psychiatrist. ADHD is the abbreviation for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. PTSD is the abbreviation for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. Bipolar disorder is a mental illness. Stress, attention disorders, and mental illness are treated by a psychiatrist. 33. All of the following are duties performed by the public health department except a. Collecting data on communicable diseases. B. Recording vital statistics of animal bites and injuries. C. Predicting and managing epidemics. D. Managing Medicare and Medicaid. E. Tracking live births, stillbirths, and deaths. Correct answer. D. Managing Medicare and Medicaid. The duties of the public health department include recording of vital statistics such as births, E. Deaths, communicable diseases, A. Animal bites, B. Gunshot and knife wounds, epidemic control, C. And research. Medicare is managed by the federal government and Medicaid is managed by the state. 34. Which of the following waves represents relaxation of the ventricles? A. P wave. B. Q wave. C. Q R S wave. D. T wave. E. U wave. Correct answer, D. T wave. The T wave indicates the relaxation of the ventricles. The P wave, A, shows the contraction of the atria, and the QRS complex, C, indicates the contraction of the ventricles and the relaxation of the atria. A U wave, E, is not always seen on an EKG and may indicate hypokalemia. The Q wave, B, is a component of the QRS complex, showing the depolarization of the ventricles of the heart. 35. The term carcinogenic means A. Formation of tumors B. Pertaining to tumors C. Pertaining to the destruction of tumors D. Pertaining to the formation of cancer E. Study of tumors Correct answer, D. Pertaining to the formation of cancer Carcinogenic means pertaining to the formation of cancer. The suffix IC means pertaining to, carcin slash O means cancer, and gen slash means formation. Formation of tumors, A, would be oncogenesis. Pertaining to tumors, B, would be a neoplastic. Pertaining to the destruction of tumors, C, would be oncolytic. The study of tumors, E, is oncology. 36. The disease where the coating on the axon begins to disintegrate and slows neural transmissions is called a. Multiple sclerosis b. Myasthenia gravis c. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis d. Cerebral palsy e. Parkinson's disease Correct answer, a. Multiple sclerosis Multiple sclerosis involves the appearance of bare spots on the myelin sheath, demyelization of the axon. Myasthenia gravis, B, involves extreme fatigue of muscles with the slightest exertion. Amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, C, is a progressive degeneration of voluntary motor neurons. Cerebral palsy, D, is a disorder of balance and movement often caused by anoxia during the birth process. Parkinson's disease, E, is a disease of dopamine deficiency that affects gait. It often is accompanied by pill-rolling movements of the fingers. 37. Erythema may be caused by all of the following except A. Sunburn B. Carbon monoxide poisoning C. Dermatitis D. Bile problems E. Blushing Correct answer D. Bowel problems. A, B, C, and E 
correctly describe reasons for erythema, redness of the skin. Bile problems, D, would likely result in jaundice, yellowing of the skin and mucous membranes. 38. Which of the following terms means the process of using an instrument to record data of electrical activity of the heart? A. Electrocardiography. B. Electrocardiograph. C. Electrocardiogram. D. Echocardiogram. E. Echocardiography. Correct answer, A. Electrocardiography. Begin by dividing the word into parts and look at the ending. A. Electra slash O slash cardi slash O slash graphy. B. Electra slash O slash cardi slash O slash graph. C. Electra slash O slash cardi slash O slash gram. D. X slash O slash cardi slash O slash gram. E. X slash O slash cardi slash O slash graphy. Only two endings mean the process of using an instrument to record data. A. Electra slash O slash cardi slash O slash graphy. E. X slash O slash cardi slash O slash graphy. When we look at the beginning of the word, only electrocardiography, A, involves electrical activity. Echocardiography, E, involves reflected sound. Looking at the entire word, electrocardiography does mean the process of using an instrument to record data of the electrical activity in the heart. 39. If an elderly patient refuses an antibiotic injection, but the medical assistant holds the patient down, for their own good, and gives it anyway. A. It is legal. B. It is legal, but unethical. C. It is an example of assault. D. It is an example of battery. E. It is an example of invasion of privacy. Correct answer. D. It is an example of battery. Battery is illegal touching. It is an intentional tort. Assault, C, is the mere threat of illegal touching. 40. A papule with clear fluid is called a. If, pustule. B, vesicle. C, macule. D, nevis. E, nodule. Correct answer, B, vesicle. A vesicle is a papule with clear fluid, for example, a blister or chickenpox lesion. A pustule, A, is a papule filled with white or yellow pus. A macule, C, is a flat lesion and although visible, it cannot be felt. A nevus, D, is a mole. A nodule, E, is a large, hard knot or tumor. 41. Which abbreviation would be unlikely to appear on a chart in a gynecologist's office? A. TA. B. LMP. C. LOC. D. PID. E. STD. Correct answer. C. LOC. A gynecologist specializes in women's pelvic and reproductive health. You are looking for an abbreviation that is unrelated to this specialty. THA is total abdominal hysterectomy. LMP B is last menstrual period. LOC C is level of consciousness. PID D is pelvic inflammatory disease. STD E is sexually transmitted disease. The outlier is LOC. 42. The person accused of a crime or illegal act is there. A. Plaintiff. B. Defendant. C. Jury. D. Bench. E. Agent. Correct answer. B. Defendant. The person accused of a crime is the defendant. The plaintiff, A, offers a complaint. The jury, C, is a group of peers who try a case. Bench, D, refers to a judge trying a case. An agent, E, is someone representing another, such as the medical assistant representing the physician. 43. The disease where uric acid collects in the joint and crystallizes is called A. Bursitis B. Arthritis C. 
kyphosis. D. Scoliosis. E. Gout. Correct answer, e. gout. Gout is an accumulation of uric acid crystals in joints. Bursitis, A, is an enlarged sac between joints that fills with fluid to provide extra protection to the joint. Arthritis, B, is inflammation of a joint causing pain and stiffness. Kyphosis, C, is an exaggerated curvature to the thoracic spine. Scoliosis, D, is a deviation of the spine to the side. 44. One state accepting the licensure requirements of another state to enable a healthcare worker to practice is called A. Certification B. Revocation C. Registration D. Reciprocity E. Licensure Correct answer, D. Reciprocity Reciprocity allows a person licensed in one state to practice in another. Revocation, B, is canceling a license to practice. 45. A patient with cryptorchidism, balantitis, or hematuria would likely see a slash in. A. Epidemiologist. B. Pulmonologist. C. Urologist. D. Gynecologist. E. Hematologist. Correct answer, C. Urologist. Recognizing the word parts help us to know what body area is involved. Translating the end first, ism is a condition. The beginning of the word is crypt slash o, which means hidden, and the middle of the word is orchid slash o or testicles. Cryptorchidism is a condition of hidden testicles. Balanitis is inflammation of the gland's penis. Hematuria is a condition of blood in the urine. These conditions would be treated by a doctor who specializes in male reproductive organs and urinary problems, a urologist. 46. Which of the following is not an action of the sympathetic nervous system? A. Increased blood pressure. B. Increased pulse. C. Release of glucose. D. Decrease of respiration. E. Decreased libido. Correct answer. D. Decrease of respiration. Respiration would increase under the effect of the sympathetic nervous system as the body prepares for fight or flight. Muscles require glucose and oxygen for energy. 47. Which of the following is not true about a legal contract? A. There is a consideration. B. It is always written and witnessed. C. The parties must be of legal capacity. D. The contract is for a specific good or service. E. The contract must be accepted by both parties. Correct answer. B. It is always written and witnessed. A contract can be written or oral. All contracts involve a good or service. D. For a consideration. A. That is accepted by two parties. E. Of legal capacity. C. 48. A procedure such as a CAB or EKG is likely to be done by a slash in. A. Neurologist. B. Rheumatologist. C. Nephrologist. D. Urologist. E. Cardiologist. Correct answer, E. Cardiologist. CAB is coronary artery bypass graft and an EKG is an electrocardiogram. Both would involve the heart and require the services of a physician who specializes in the heart, a cardiologist. 49. Intentional misrepresentation of facts and figures is called a. Negligence b. Slander c. Defamation d. Libel e. Fraud Correct answer, fraud. Negligence a is failure to perform at the reasonable standard of care. Defamation of character, C, is malicious misrepresentation of facts to harm another. Slander, B, is defamation of character through spoken words and libel, D, is defamation of character through written words. 50. A dying patient tells the medical assistant that if she survives, she will give the rest of her life to caring for children. 
What stage of Kubler-Ross's model of grief is this patient currently in? A. Denial B. Acceptance C. Bargaining D. Anger E. Detachment Correct answer, C. Bargaining The scenario described in the question is an example of bargaining. In this state of the grief process, patients seek to negotiate with a higher power and resolve their illness. Congratulations! You have completed the test. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel for more resources.